Our job is to heal and not just fix teeth. And why is this so important to me and everybody here at the White Clinic? Well, guess what the most common surgery in the world is? Well, it could be argued that it's a tooth extraction. And if we think about it, the tooth that we remove was embedded in our jaw. And our jaw is made of bone, part of our skeleton. And inside the bone is where we produce bone marrow, a vital part of our immune system. So, if a tooth extraction is not done according to gold standard procedures, or if it has infection after the following days or weeks after the surgery is performed, that can actually have a negative impact in our overall systemic well-being. Many times your GP is unaware of this because doctors and dentists don't usually speak that much to each other. But it asks a bigger question. How come it when in a hospital, a bone surgeon, an orthopedic surgeon, when they operate on any part of your body, everything has to be super sterilized and super well protected, but a dentist can take a tooth out in a relatively unsterile environment because saliva itself is very difficult to control and saliva will have over 400 different pathogens in it. This is well documented, the oral biome. And many times that oral biome can have some pathogens you don't want going into our bone marrow. How do we control it? Well, it's really difficult to do and almost impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't look into it and the negative consequences in the future of having a tooth extracted. So I think that this begs for a broader discussion. And here at the White Clinic, we take tooth extraction really seriously. And I'm happy to see that a lot of good clinics around the world also think the same way. It's time that doctors and dentists have a seat at the same table. And more importantly, that we start looking at the immunological effects of any dental surgery and how that can impact our patients' broader systemic health. So we are actually bone surgeons at the end of the day, and even a tooth extraction can be perceived as being an orthopedic surgery. And we need to look into this carefully, and we need to make sure that our patient's systemic health is ready to have the surgery, much like an orthopedic surgeon will do as well. And that's why smoking is bad, your vitamin D has to be well monitored, and we need to collectively look at this in more depth to ensure that even a simple tooth extraction is taken very seriously as part of our immune system and as part of our systemic well-being. So next time you take out a tooth, make sure that your health is in good shape and uh, ensure that your doctor is doing the best he can to mitigate any post-operative infections, not just from bacteria, but also from fungus and also other pathogens that can be in your saliva. It's a really big deal if you're gonna take a tooth out We've got to take this thing really seriously. That is why we call it immune dentistry. It's a new area of dentistry where we look into the impacts of everything that we do at an immunological level. It's a really interesting time for all of us in the dental community to connect what we do to what doctors do as well. And that is something that I'm very passionate about. You should be too if you're having a tooth out anytime in the near future.